you also please get prepared to answer the questions that will come very unexpectedly to you, or maybe to you, so you yes, don't yawn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so um, as you understand, as I have greeted you right now with this great holiday, my questions will be, of course, connected to that holiday. So the first question, uh, you can make another picture. <laughs> <laughs> the first question is, okay, imagine the situation, it's like minus 20, like it was two weeks ago in here, minus 20, very windy atmosphere, and uh, Mark Taylor gets prepared to go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> he takes his fishing rod, and he takes his hooks, and you know, and he takes something to drink, of course, because it's very cold outside. Mark, it's, uh, you know. I, of course, I promise that I will not tell this story to anyone, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, and of course, he decided to drink a little bit before he goes out, otherwise, he can freeze before he reaches this place where he can fish. So, he drank a little bit, drank, 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 and he went out. So, he was walking, walking, and suddenly he stuck upon a place where he could do fishing because there was the ice there. And Mark was very happy like this, so he sat down, he took his fishing rod, and, put this. and then he sees that the ice is there, and he said, Okay, of course, I have this screwing stuff, and he started to screw it. And then suddenly he hears the loud voice There is no fish in here. <laughs> Probably. I misheard something, and she drank a little bit of it, and she continued this stuff. And then, again, he hears the strange voice from somewhere, like, There is no fish in here! Mark says, Oh my god, maybe I misheard, and he <laughs> put the fish in out there, and he's waiting. Then again, he hears this voice, there is no fish in here! Mark is a very brave man, you know. He says, he says, I say, whoever you are, I'm not afraid of you! He says, look, there is no fish in here. This is the manager of ice skating rink. <laughs> <laughs> so, the question is, the question is, you see that different people have different ways of spending their free time. How are you going to spend your free time during these 10 day holidays? And this question is addressed, of course, to Viktor Fursov. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Actually, when I'm thinking about Christmas, I'm always thinking, what was my last interest in Christmas? Maybe last one was interesting, maybe next one will be more interesting. And I'm thinking, what was the interesting one? And I counted for a couple times I visited Christmas in unusual places. That's why I'm thinking maybe next Christmas will be in a more unusual, in more strange place, uh, which I never met before. For instance, uh, once I uh, celebrated Christmas in Mexico. I came to one city just far from university where I did uh, get my lectures, and I was uh, living in a hotel, and I decided why I will be in a hotel. But I will come back to university to my colleagues, and I will celebrate Christmas there because they were actually Russian and they were very happy to meet me <coughs> I came there you see so there uh, Christmas is summertime when you are just somewhere in the southern place so it's very very comfortable another one Christmas I celebrated in London actually in the Trafalgar Square it was quite funny to see uh, funny drunk English people, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they the same like Ukrainian, uh, much before Christmas and after Christmas, but English by certainly just during uh, certain nights. Uh, after that, they are very very careful about it. So that's why I think maybe I should take, okay, my uh, holidays and to visit Egypt or maybe. France uh, and spend uh, holidays there where you can find maybe something slightly unusual rather than the same uh, dirty streets and same sad people maybe slightly more <coughs> you see, funny and smiling people that's why uh, when you want to change your mind 
Actually, it's easy to switch on television and watch just Russian organic during the whole night, or just to watch this, the same oldest, you see, television with this bathroom story. We watch it always every night during Christmas. Oh, actually, I'm planning also to visit my uh, apartment. I just got new apartment, and there I will celebrate it with my friends with my relatives and with my family because you know uh, Christmas is a family actually holiday if you have a just privilege and opportunity to celebrate it with your family with your relatives with your children I guess this is the best way to celebrate Christmas and I wish for everyone to have relatives to have friends and to have beloved children and celebrate Christmas with them at least sometimes Thank you. Thank you very much, Victor. So, uh, 